Gina Carano of the hit show The Mandalorian on Disney Plus is out of a job tonight for controversial posts on social media in line with her apparently conservative beliefs. It doesn't appear her now former co-star Pedro Pascal suffered similar consequences for his November post comparing Trump supporters to Nazis. Chief Breaking News correspondent Trace Gallagher is digging into what many are calling a political double standard tonight. Good evening, Trace. Shannon, good evening. Overall, the Walt Disney Company is struggling, but Disney Plus has been a bright spot. Yet now, cancel Disney is beginning to trend, and there are a few reasons. One, as you mentioned, Mandalorian actress Gina Carano, a conservative, was fired by Disney for an Instagram post that compares the political climate in Nazi Germany to what's happening today in the U.S. She wrote, quoting here, most people today don't realize that to get to the point where Nazi soldiers could easily round up thousands of Jews, the government Government first made their own neighbors hate them simply for being Jews. How is that any different from hating someone for their political views? But another Disney employee and Mandalorian cast member used the very same comparison two years ago and is still working. Pedro Pascal, a liberal, posted pictures of children confined by barbed wire in 1944 Nazi Germany and children allegedly being confined in ICE detention centers in 2018. Except the picture on the bottom is not from the United States. It is reportedly Palestinian children in the West Bank. Now, the Disney double standard is being questioned. The associated editor of The Daily Caller writing, quote, Gina Carano's post made the point that mass violence starts with hatred for your neighbor. This is not only uncontroversially true, but also one perspective of the commandment to love your neighbor. Many others simply canceling Disney+. Plus. Then there's Disney Live's action Mulan film, where the credits thanked eight different Chinese government departments directly involved in what human rights groups call cultural genocide against Uyghurs, Kazakhs, and other Muslim minorities. The head of Disney Films didn't apologize and said crediting the government that allowed the filming is standard practice. But when the BBC ran a recent report accusing the Chinese government of forced labor and sexual abuse of minority Muslims, China banned the BBC. And the State Department said this. It's troubling that as the PRC restricts outlets and platforms from operating freely in China, Beijing's leaders use free and open media environments overseas uh, to promote misinformation. The UK Foreign Secretary called the move an unacceptable curtailing of media freedoms. Shannon. Trace Gallagher out west for us tonight. Thanks so much, Trace. Yep.